On October 17th, Aptos Mainnet launched and it was listed on mainstream cryptocurrency exchanges, namely Coinbase. You rarely see this type of adoption from a new cryptocurrency project. The price went from $9 to down to $6.65 and then back up to $10.35 on Coinbase in less than one week. Quite the opening move. Today, I will give you the inside scoop on what Aptos is, how it was developed, its tokenomics, and if this project could rocket ship to the top. I am Crypto Andy, and it is my pleasure to review the key facts surrounding Aptos. I would like to mention that this content is for educational purposes only, and it is not intended to be financial advice. What is Aptos? Aptos is a layer one cryptocurrency platform similar to Ethereum. What Aptos aims to develop is a blockchain that is scalable, safe, reliable, upgradable, and their core purpose is to bring Web3 to the masses. Their innovations revolve around a parallel execution engine, sharding, low transaction costs, high-end security features, and modular design. Aptos is a project out of California and there is a town called Aptos in Santa Cruz County, also in Ohlone, a native language from that area. Aptos means for the people. So you might be wondering, how is Aptos developed? Aptos was developed by Aptos Labs, a company co-founded by Muhammad Sheikh, CEO, and Avery Ching, CTO, both formerly of Facebook. Aptos developed its blockchain in the past three years with the help of over 350 developers from across the globe. Many of these developers are not public and kept in the dark, possibly to keep them away from the competition or keep the more proprietary parts of the blockchain secret, which is not typical for a cryptocurrency and is somewhat concerning. The Aptos Genesis took place on October 12, 2022, and shortly after, on October 17th, same year, the blockchain mainnet was launched, dubbed Aptos Autumn. The founders and developers are all former members of the DM blockchain. If you recall, DM, formerly Libra, was a blockchain created from the bowels of Facebook, which I found surprising and gave me pause. When it comes to decentralization and community involvement, after all, Facebook has not been a good company when it comes to privacy and its use of users' data. In other words, Aptos is the second coming of DM, which if you remember, died a gruesome regulatory death. The US government was not about to allow a tech company like Facebook to have a centralized cryptocurrency. You can make of that what you will. The links with big tech are strong in Aptos, which has advantages and disadvantages. An advantage is Move, Aptos' programming language, which was used to build the DM blockchain. Move emphasizes safety and flexibility and is used to represent Aptos' ledger state. Typically with security comes the compromise of centralization. Similar to VeChain, to VeChain's master nodes, which are very secure, but lack decentralization. The Move ecosystem contains a compiler, a virtual machine, and many other developer tools. Move is a developer's friendly, and apps can be easily built on it. If you compare it to other L1s like Cardano, which had big problems with developers learning how to code on Haskell, its programming language, you can see that Aptos might ramp up quickly when it comes to building up its ecosystem, which is quite bullish for Aptos. Although the virtual machine is of particular interest, which could be a innovation for processing smart contracts efficiently, a sufficiently improved virtual machine could give lots of competition to Ethereum. And did I mention that Aptos is proof of stake consensus system out of the box? At this point, you may be wondering, where does the Aptos token fit into all of this? And does it possess strong tokenomics that may work in your favor? So let's take a look at the tokenomics. All Aptos transactions have a gas fee paid in APT, the Aptos token, that allows validators to prioritize the highest value transactions in the network. 
So it works similar to Ethereum's gas fees. The APT token is a utility token used on its network to pay for things. Now that we understand what the APT token is used for, let's move on to Aptos' funding round. 200 million was raised in a seed round on March 15th, 2022, funded by Andresen Horowitz, Multicultural Capital, Three Arrows Capital, and many other such parties. Uh, FTX Ventures, Paxos, and Coinbase Ventures. Another 50 million was raised on the 25th of July, 2022, funded by similar participants. Additionally, an undisclosed amount was raised in a venture round on the 15th of September, funded by Binance Labs. And another undisclosed amount was raised on later that same month by Dragonfly Capital. In case you didn't catch that, these are some of the biggest names in cryptocurrency and the fact that Aptos is associated with them is quite bullish. Aptos was under development for a long time, the three years prior that I mentioned. So who funded them and their 350 plus developers for the last three years? Possibly Zuckerberg? And this is another irregularity with Aptos and it does make it a very scary insider type of cryptocurrency like a Solana. That being said, the sponsorship by these big names and especially the exchanges give Aptos a leg up when it comes to adoption, which is a very bullish news indeed for Aptos. A lot of projects die at the adoption phase. Now back to tokenomics. The initial distribution of Aptos, APT, is as follows. Out of 1 billion, 51% is allocated to the community, 19% is allocated to the core contributors, 16.5% is allocated to the foundation, and 13.5% roughly is allocated to investors. The 1 billion tokens were sold at $1 price at the time of sale, and they have an inflationary type of emissions rate, meaning that their price um, goes up as things like staking take place. The supply of Aptos may increase in line with its staking, as I mentioned, mechanism. Currently, the maximum reward rate starts at 7% annually and is evaluated at every epoch. The maximum staking reward rates decline by 1.5% annually until a lower bound of 3.25% annually is achieved. All reward amounts and mechanisms are modifiable via on-chain governance. A majority of these tokens, uh, 410 million plus, are held by the Aptos Foundation. A smaller portion of it, 110 million, are held by Aptos Labs. These tokens are anticipated to be distributed over 10 years period. All investors and the current core contributors are subject to a four-year lockup schedule, excluding staking rewards if applicable. The unlock schedule is as follows, and you can check out this nifty chart that I have. There are no APT available for the first 12 months. 348 of such tokens unlock on the 13th month after mainnet launch, and each month thereafter upon and including after 18 months, 1 48th of these tokens unlock each month the, thereafter beginning on the 15th, 19th month after mainnet launch so that all such tokens are unlocked on the fourth year anniversary of mainnet launch. So after four years, they're all unlocked. There is a chart that, that I mentioned that you, tells you the unlock schedule by date and it is quite handy for you to look at that. It's not uncommon for sell-offs to occur as investors have already made thousands of percentage points want to cash out the ones that bought at $1. If you plan on trading APT, make sure to mark your calendar with the vesting release schedule so you don't get dumped on. There was something that caught my eye also. When you look at the Aptos Explorer, the total supply listed there is 1,004,255,453 Aptos tokens. However, if you look uh, at a place like CoinGecko, the total supply there is about a million short of that number. I would defer to the Aptos Explorer uh, as the more accurate of the two, and keep in mind that stack rewards are not subject to lockup, so they can sell those immediately. On the bright side, transaction fees are currently burned and the APT token used to settle the gas fees, or used to sell gas fees like on Ethereum. The tokenomics for Aptos are not terrible and can make sense if you take into view that a growing ecosystem could require more APT as number of transactions and dApps increases. Uh, I would say that they're, they're average and not the strongest points of the project. What is the strongest point of the project is the connections that Aptos has made in its funding rounds, the technology that it employs, and uh, the partnership. 
On that note, let's talk about the Aptos developer team and the founders of Aptos. Mohamed Sheik is the CEO and co-founder of Aptos. He is uh, a seasoned founder with over a decade of multinational financial services experience and blockchain cryptocurrency experience. In the past, Mo uh, has led blockchain's strategic partnerships for uh, Novi and Facebook's wallet. Mohammed is a first-generation immigrant raised by a uh, taxi driver and housewife on welfare in Brooklyn. Additionally, Mohammed was the founder and CEO of Meridio. He also was a, has a master's in business administration and he works at Consensus, a blockchain-based company that issued the world's first fractional shares of real estate. Mohammed also led Consensus strategy as an early employee and founded the Consensus Middle East office. He also has consulted with the World Economic Forum on their global blockchain strategy, including central bank digital currencies, CBDCs. Prior to Meridio, Mohammed also consulted sovereign wealth funds regarding energy and telecom. He has worked with BlackRock as well. The other co-founder is Avery Ching. Avery has a PhD in computer science and worked as a top software engineer at Meta. Mr. Ching also worked as the Los Alamos Laboratory in Nevada, a military research company. His, bra his background is not as high profile as Mohammed Sheikh is, and not as much information was available about him. Possibly the military uh, connection means that some of the aspects of his work uh, are classified and cannot be discussed. As previously mentioned, not a lot is made public about their developers. However, you can go to aptoslabs.com backslash team and click on explore open roles. And there you will find that they are looking for everything from engineering to marketing and communication, which makes sense for a growing cryptocurrency for them to have open positions and that many open positions. Now that we have uh, covered their founders, and team, let's discuss some of Aptos' uh, recent development. Uh, on October 18th, the Aptos Foundation provided early participants with Aptos tokens, aka an airdrop. Eligible users for the airdrop can go to airdrop at aptosfoundation.org and email if they meet the requirements for the airdrop. Eligible participants are users who completed uh, an application for Aptos incentivized testnet and users who minted uh, an Aptos Zero testnet NFT. On November 8th, the Aptos Grant DAO was launched and uh, the Aptos Grant DAO is a long-term funding program. In its first funding round, uh, DeFi Infra NFT DAO and many other native move native projects ideas were were shared and were able to uh, get a prize of thirty thousand dollars and an extra four thousand APT based on community choices. Um, announcing hashtag Aptos Grant DAO long-term funding program uh, also happened in the first funding round. If you want a closer view on upcoming Aptos projects, you can go to the aptos.com link on the community and then go to community, then go to discussion forums. The top projects listed are Aptos launchpads. There are a few of these projects which aim to get the state APT tokens to fund new projects. It would uh, be a good idea to check on this in a few months to see what Aptos has been developing, what projects are you know high on the list. In conclusion, Aptos has a lot going for it. Its connections, the way it was launched, the technology powering the network, and the funding it has received. That being said, it may face a lot of challenges on the regulatory front from its association with Meta. Lots of crypto uh, purists would not like the fact that uh, there's a lot of secrecy surrounding its developers and how it seems like a project that would evolve with a lot of centralization. That being said, its technology is quite good and Aptos ecosystem could grow very fast. This would make the valuations in a short term amount of time be high. This project might be a hodl for the next crypto bull run if its ecosystem really takes off and you manage to pick it up at a, on the dip in the next year or two. 
As always, do your own research and keep tabs on projects uh, that you like and projects that you would have an interest in participating in. If you have made it uh, to the end, I want to thank you for staying with me. Please don't forget to like and subscribe the video. I will see you next time on the Crypto Andy channel. Goodbye.